Today, I want us to discuss engagement 101. So you thought about the post, you've created it and you've posted it. How exactly do you ensure that that post runs within the engagement cycle and brings the actual conversion you were expecting or achieves the goal you set at the beginning while you were creating this post? In this lesson, I will show you exactly how to run through the engagement cycle so that every single post you make can achieve the objective or the goal for which it was made. Welcome to this lesson. Come, let me show you. Okay, so on a normal day, if you were to make a post, you would make a post, reply your comments if there's any. Um, you scroll social media a bit, maybe share the post to your stories, right? And then what next? Here's a better way to build engagement around your posts going forward, all right? First, you make the post, okay? You share the post to stories for engagement. You drive conversions in the comments. So you reply the comments and some of the comments you want to be intentionally replying them in a way that fosters conversation, okay? And then you engage with 10 posts from your audience. Look for 10 people in your audience. I would always say people who are also consistently posting as you are and engage with 10, just 10, all right? Now, engage in three hub communities. Now, when I say hub communities, I mean communities where you've noticed that your target audience gathers, all right? If you're a finance coach, where do people who are interested in money gather? Who is that person that has been pulling them together? Whether it's a personal brand or a professional brand, find those hub communities and intentionally engage with their posts after you make yours, okay? And then you want to engage with five stories. Scroll to your stories. You will see people who have also updated their stories almost at the same time as you. Engage with five stories, all right? And don't just engage for engagement's sake. Actually have real conversations or leave quality comments, right? And then you want to allow the organic reach time to run its course. This thing that we do when we make a post and it doesn't bring the traction we're looking for, we go back and just take it down or archive it. It doesn't work because you are not just creating for now. There are people who are going to find you four months, six months, one year down the line. And it was that single post that you almost archived that will convince them to work with you or to take your offers. I hope this helps you do your engagement right. See you in the next lesson.